development. Gamers in love with Marvel Comics, stable of superheroes and villains, once again live a dream in Activision's explosive role-playing action game, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2. With a story based on the popular Civil War crossover event, players choose sides composed of a quartet of metahumans to either defend the national security of the United States as pro-registration stalwarts, led by Iron Man and Mr. Fantastic, or fight for personal freedoms as the anti-registration faction led by Luke Cage and Captain America. Other key controllable sequential art icons include Spider-Man, Wolverine, Green Goblin, Deadpool, Venom, and the Fourbrush Man, with each being able to combine forces to unleash an imaginable arsenal of attacks. Fans will really get a kick out of Jean Grey in action as she hovers and unleashes her devastating mutant powers, or when dispatching the wily Gambit and his card-slinging antics. Co-op mode is also back, and players can work with three other friends in the same room or online. This just in, Stan Lee will be making an appearance in the game. The venerable patriarch of Marvel Comics is being touted to having a significant role in the storyline, and rumored to be part of the rapid-fire self-promotion matches against such powerhouses as Todd McFarlane, Jim Shooter, and Peter David. Excelsior, indeed! Rated T for Teen and Thing, Thor, Tinkerer, Toxin, Tarantula, and the Texas Twister. Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 is available September 16th for every gaming platform except the PC. In my console! Ice Age, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Young fans enamored with the exploits of Slid the Sloth and his prehistoric brethren will find plenty to like in Activision's latest adaptation of the animated universe. Based on 20th Century Fox's latest movie, this three-dimensional platformer features 15 short attention span grabbing levels and use of six of the familiar characters including Sid, Manny the Woolly Mammoth, Scrat the Squirrel, and Buck the Wily Weasel. So what's the targeted demographic think about the interactive animated shenanigans? One of the reasons I like Ice Age is because you can slide across ice, which is a lot of fun because it's my favorite, and um, you can have sloth races with um, Sid. And it's a lot of fun because a huge dinosaur is chasing you. And I also like playing as Scrat is because you get to use this little furry thing. And um, you get to go to this cool underground level and chase a nut. Even Diego gets in the action because you get to chase a gazelle, which is a lot of fun, and hunt it down. Ice Age Dawn of the Dinosaurs is rated E plus 10 and it was reviewed for the Xbox 360. That's it for this week's episode of Zadzook's Video Game Minute. Thanks for watching and playing. I'm Joseph Zedkowski. Oh my god, look at that nut.